A week back, I'm browsing internet on my Windows PC and all of a sudden, I couldn't access the internet. There's no problem with the internet connection as all of my other devices are still able to access the internet. So I checked the proxy settings on my Windows PC and I realized that a proxy address is created without my knowledge. I immediately turned off the proxy and tried accessing the internet, but still I couldn't access it. I checked my proxy settings again and the proxy is turned on automatically even though I have turned it off. So I then realized that it is actually a malware that is trying to turn on my proxy settings automatically. I somehow got rid of the malware, but I want to show you guys why it is so bad if your PC is connected to a proxy without your knowledge. So I decided to create a malware like that myself and show you how it works and what it does. First, I've written a Python script which will listen to the address 127.0.0.1 and on the port 1.5.6.0. So if we change the proxy settings of a PC to this address and port, our script can receive and send the data to the browsers. Once the data is received by the script that I'm writing, I'm forwarding this data to a particular host on a particular port number. This particular host and particular port number is going to be the server of the attacker. In this case, myself. Once my script sends the data to the server, it also waits for a response back from the attacker server. Once it receives the response back from the server, it forwards the response to the web browser of the PC. So this makes a simple Python script which is to be run on the victim's PC, which in this case is my other PC, my Windows PC. Well, I will now save this script on the internet so that it can be downloaded whenever needed onto the victim's PC. Now I need to write another script which will capture or sniff the data that the script on victim's PC is sending. This script should run on a server so that the data can be received and sent to the victim's PC from anywhere on the internet and at any time. But since I do not have a personal server, I will use my MacBook as a server with the help of ngrock. Using ngrock, I first create a secure tunnel from my local host to the ngrock server. By doing this, my local host will be accessible anywhere on the internet with the address of ngrock and a unique port number. So the idea is the victim's PC will be able to connect to the attacker's PC through this ngrock server. So let me start adding a script which needs to be run on the attacker's machine in order to act as a man in the middle and sniff the data. First, I'm listening to the address 127.0.0.1, which is the local host and on the port 1234. Also, remember that I have already configured ngrog to create a tunnel from my local host with the port 1234 to the ngrog's server. Whenever I'm listening to 127.0.0.1 and port 1234, it means that I'm actually listening to this secure tunnel which I created. And the end of this secure tunnel is available to connect for any device on the internet, including the victim's PC. I'm receiving the data from this secure tunnel 127.0.0.1 with the port 1234 and then retrieving the URL from the data. Then I'm connecting to that particular web server, usually with the port 80, which is used for HTTP protocol and sending the data to that particular web server. I also wait for responses from that particular web server and then forward this response to the secure tunnel. The script running on the victim's computer is then going to receive this response since it is connected to the other end of the secure ngrock tunnel. It forwards this response to the browser. In this way, I made a simple proxy server and also managed to act like a man in the middle and inspect or sniff or terminate all the HTTP requests or all the HTTP data that is sent or received by the victim's PC. So, I've also written a USB rubber ducky script which will automatically change the proxy settings to connect to 127.0.0.1 and port 1.5.6.0 on the victim's PC as soon as I plug in the rubber ducky into the victim's PC. And it will then download the script that I've written from the internet and then execute this script. So in less than 20 seconds or so, our backdoor will be running on the victim's PC. And if you don't know what is meant by your USB rubber ducky and what it is used for, then I suggest you to watch my video on my daily motion channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below. So go check it out in case you don't know what is meant by a USB rubber ducky. So now let me test these scripts and show you why they are dangerous. For this video, I will be testing it on my Windows PC. 
So there we go, I'm now plugging the USB rubber ducky into my Windows PC and now it's going to first open PowerShell and then download the script and it is then opening command prompt and changing the proxy settings to 127.0.0.1 and port 1560. Once it is done, it is going to execute the downloaded script and that's it, we are done. Now whenever I'm browsing anything from the victim aka my Windows PC, all the HTTP requests are first sent to my MacBook which is the server and from there they are forwarded to the internet. So in this way I can see every HTTP data of the victim's PC from my MacBook which is the server. And I can also modify the HTTP data and forward it to the server or I can even terminate the connection which means I can even terminate the internet connection on the victim's PC. And if you're submitting your passwords or payment information or other stuff like that, then they're going to end up on the attacker's machine like this. This virus may be running on your computer too. So go check it now and perform a good scan with an efficient antivirus. Also do not download files from unknown or untrusted sources on the internet because those very files may be having malware and they can do the same to your computer. So guys that is it for this video hope you learned something new thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos thanks for watching once again cheers